Hey guys, welcome to the channel once again. Yesterday it was a custom kernel for the OnePlus 6 and today we have something new that is Lineage OS 15.1 based on Android 8.1 and no, this is not the Project GSI Rebel image that we are talking about. This is a proper TWRP flashable ROM which boots, the camera works, the fingerprint scanner works, voice over LTE works and almost everything is working. There are a few bugs here and there. So if you were thinking in the last few days that when will I have a stable ROM which I can use as my daily driver? Well, probably we are almost there because this is a beta and I've used it for a day. Uh, there are a few bugs but none of them are deal breakers. So today's video is going to be about the install and preview of Lineage OS 15.1 for the OnePlus 6. But before we begin, if you haven't already, subscribe because we do awesome stuff related to phones over here. And while you subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now it's Lineage OS time, so hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorial. Let's get flashing. Hey guys, welcome to the channel once again. Now today's install and preview is going to be a little different and a little complicated because usually when you see installs and previews on my channel, you see that there is a phone, there is TWRP, there is a ROM, you flashed it, rebooted, done. At the most you flash G apps and maybe a root file like Majisk or Super SU. But that's not the case today. Today we are in a very very early but sort of stable build of Lineage OS 15.1 which we'll, we'll be installing and we will be previewing but the problem with this particular build is after you install it, it overrides your TWRP upon first boot. So the procedure is going to be a little bit of trial and error. All right, so let's begin. Now, I've backed up all my information. It's very, very important. You need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have TWRP installed. The links are down there. All right, so we are in TWRP now and there are a few things that I have tried. Let me share it with you guys what we are exactly going to do here. We will first flash Lineage OS, then we will flash the TWRP installer. Then we will reboot into recovery in order to avoid any errors. Then we will flash G apps, that is Google apps, and then we will flash TWRP flasher. And then we will reboot the phone so that it will go into Lineage OS with Google apps installed. At the same time, our TWRP will be safe as well. So let's begin. Now let's quickly go to wipe advanced wipe we're going to wipe everything except internal storage and usb storage because that's where your data would be if you've connected otg or the internal storage is the obvious option here so we're going to wipe dalvik cache system and data now i'm expecting that you've backed up all your data and you have at least some battery more than 50 percent at least because that is essential to avoid any issues so swipe to wipe first things first go to the home screen install and scroll to search for lineage os 15.1 there we go swipe to flash now this flash will take roughly five to seven minutes so please be patient while the flash is complete let's wait for this flash to be done and then we will go ahead and proceed with the next step all right so looks like the rom has been flashed now so let's go to the home screen install and select twrp installer swipe to flash now we are doing this on TWRP latest version that is 3.2.2. So that is the file that we are using. In case you're using an earlier version, I would recommend to first boot into TWRP. Now, if you don't know how to install TWRP or unlock the bootloader on a OnePlus 6, well, here's a card to that video. Go ahead and check that video out as well. All right, so now the next step would be now if we try, we can go ahead and flash Google Apps, but it will give us an error because I've tried that in the past. There's some issue with this build, maybe compatibility or something like that. So let's go to the home screen. Let's go to reboot and recovery. All right. Now we have rebooted back to recovery and what we need to do is install Google Apps. And once again, we will flash the TWRP flasher. So let's go to install. Now we won't be wiping anything at this point. Scroll to the bottom mind the G apps, the latest version, swipe to confirm flash. 
all right let's go to the home screen again and install and twrp installer and swipe to confirm flash we're almost done here after this installation is complete we will just wipe cache and then we will reboot into lineage os and we will have our first look at lineage os 15.1 all right so looks like the flashing stuff is done so wipe cache in dalvik and then reboot system and do not install so the first boot may take up to five to ten minutes and if it does don't really panic it will definitely boot up and i used it for at least 24 hours as my daily driver and i was pretty happy with it the only thing is that when you get used to something like oxygen os which is really really close to stock and oh yeah that's a lineage os boot animation uh yeah so if you get used to something like lineage os 15.1 the stability and stuff I don't really feel comfortable using something else as my daily driver. Not to mention that Lineage OS is an excellent base for the ROMs that should be coming towards this wonderful, wonderful device by OnePlus. Now let's wait for the ROM to boot up and then we will see how smooth, how different Lineage OS 15.1 is. All right, so what do we have here? We have the home screen of Lineage OS 15.1 and it's a pretty, pretty minimalistic ROM. So we have very, very few apps like we have the camera for example it's a very very basic and generic camera that we have although it is working fine but then again the clarity is not that awesome so the camera is working perfectly fine let's check voice over lt because we have a lot of users who are using geo let's give it a shot Welcome to there you go so voice over lt works now, there are a few things that are not working. For example, the alert slider doesn't function properly. The color calibration doesn't really work that well. Now, those are known bugs, but for a very, very, you know, beta build, for a very, very initial build, this is something that is really, really awesome. Now, if we go to system and then we go to about, let's see what the security patch says. It says 5th July, 2018. Now, that is one thing that you get with custom ROMs, which is really, really quick. You get the latest security patches and stuff like that. You can go ahead and enable root access to it and you know this was a quick install and preview and the reason i'm not going into features is because there have been so many videos on my channel which have covered lineage os 15.1 for different devices the features are more or less the same and this is pretty much a vanilla experience that is a pure android experience there is not much customization available this rom will act as a base to all the other custom roms which come loaded with feature roms like resurrection remix and other stuff omni rom so those things are coming to the oneplus 6 but for now guys this was the quick install and preview of lineage os 15.1 for the oneplus 6 you can definitely use it as a daily driver all the new bugs that you notice in this rom mention them in the comment section and this was a quick install process let me know if you like this video hit the like button and if there's anything else shoot a comment and i shall reply to that for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye